Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Police have now identified the man found under this overpass back on Gerber Road on Sunday as 37-year-old Joshua Rash. He was found with a gunshot wound to the chest. Two days later, the Sacramento County deputies arrested this man, 60-year-old Richard Bradford, in connection to the case. He's been booked into jail on a murder charge. A good Samaritan who helped save a woman and her five-year-old daughter from the San Joaquin River has sadly died, according to his family. Just yesterday, the woman's car rolled into the river. A man helped save the child and the woman from the bank, but he disappeared shortly after. Today, the man's body was found. People who knew him tell us he was a father of three. The city of Sacramento says a large homeless camp was cleared from under this overpass on Broadway near Highway 99. The city says one person who was displaced accepted a spot at a safe stay site. Three 18-year-old men were arrested after Sonora police say they were driving around and shot at least three people with a BB gun. Police say through their investigation, they found out the three men were going after homeless people. All three have been booked into the Tuolumne County Jail. Rescue teams from three separate counties worked together to find and recover the remains of a mountain biker who fell off a trail near Downeyville in Sierra County. The man's bike was found first, 100 feet below the trail on a ledge. His body was found a short while later downstream. The man was from Berkeley. House Republicans have now nominated Steve Scalise for the speakership. Now the question remains if he'll have the votes he needs to be elected to the position. Scalise can only afford to lose four Republican votes to get the seat. Meanwhile, some Republicans are still backing Jim Jordan for the role. ABC News has contained a new cell phone video tonight of the chaos at Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport after two people were stabbed, including a police officer. Police say the suspect is now in custody. It comes as another person was arrested at the Baltimore-Washington International Airport after saying they had explosives in their car. The bomb squad did not find any explosives in the car. New information tonight about the demise of cryptocurrency trading platform FTX. Its founder, Sam Bankman-Fried's ex-girlfriend, testified, saying she knew that $14 billion of customer money were being taken from the startup without customer knowledge. His former girlfriend also saying some of the money has been used to make campaign donations. Former 1984 Olympic gold medalist Mary Lou Redden is now in the hospital struggling with a rare form of pneumonia. That's according to her daughter on social media. Her daughter also says the former Olympic champ can't breathe on her own. They've started a GoFundMe asking for help. Taylor Swift's Eras Tour film is set to premiere tonight at the Grove in Los Angeles. Only about 2,200 people will be able to attend the premiere, but pre-sale tickets have already passed more than $100 million worldwide. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.